Now, the Congress party has released its manifesto for the big 2024 elections. The party's Nyay Patra was in fact unveiled by Malikarjun Kharge, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. But a look at the manifesto and one sees that the Congress has now promised five guarantees for women, youth and Kisan. But very interestingly, they have not mentioned the old pension scheme. What's more, the manifesto talks about handing probe agencies and investigating the electoral bonds, the Rafael deal and also demonetization. The BJP says that the Congress is only peddling lies and is trying to mislead the voters. पांच पिलर्स में से 25 गारंटी निकलते हैं। The Congress has released its manifesto for the Lok Sabha elections with a focus on nyay or justice. The document makes a series of promises for the women and the youth. भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा में पांच पिलर्स पर ध्यान केंद्रित किया गया था। यात्रा के दौरान युवा न्याय किसान न्याय, नारी न्याय, श्रमिक न्याय और हिस्सेदारी न्याय की घोषणा की गई थी, जहां कहीं भी हम गए, इन न्याय की बात हमने करी थी, और इसकी गारंटी भी हमने दी है। one of the biggest talking points in the manifesto is the caste consensus, a political hot topic that has been in the headlines for quite a few months now. In its manifesto, the Congress vowed to conduct a nationwide consensus to identify and enumerate castes. It has promised to waive off student loans, including unpaid interest, if it's voted to power. Congress promised guaranteed jobs to youth with 1 lakh rupees per annum salary and vowed that one woman in every family will get 1 lakh rupees per year. There will be a probe into the controversial electoral bonds that was scrapped by the Supreme Court recently. The party which has been hit by the desertions will make a law that will automatically disqualify MPs and MLAs who defect. At the event to release the manifesto, Rahul Gandhi declared that this election is to save democracy. This election is about those who are trying to destroy the constitution and destroy democracy in this country versus those who are trying to protect the constitution. I don't think democracy has been as much at risk. The constitution has been as much at, as, at risk as it is today. One omission from the manifesto that raised eyebrows is the silence on bringing back the old pension scheme. In that today post questions to Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, which were eventually deflected to Congress MP and former finance minister P. Chidambaram. मेरा सवाल मैडम सोनिया गांधी से है मैम अगर आपसे सवाल राहुल जी आपने ओपीएस को लेके लगातार जो है झंडा बुलंद किया है तमाम सरकारें आपकी उन्होंने ओपीएस का वादा किया था चिदंबरम साहब यू हैड प्रॉमिस्ड ओपीएस एंड इन हिमाचल एंड राजस्थान यू इंप्लीमेंटेड ओपीएस बट इन द मैनिफेस्टो द ओपीएस स्कीम इज मिसिंग सो इज देयर uh, uh, reflects, uh, is there a introspection that it's not viable economically? Is it that? It's not missing as such. It's very much on our minds. But please remember the developments that have taken place in the last four months. The government has appointed a committee headed by the finance secretary to review the NPS and the demand for OPS and to find a way in which the objectives of OPS can be financed by a funded pension scheme. The BJP rained fire on the Congress, accusing the party of not fulfilling promises during its tenure. In the time of the time, the time of negative growth rate is the time of Congress. That's why I said that. जिनको चार पीढ़ी तक मौका मिला है, जिनको इतने लंबे समय तक मौका मिला है, उन सारे लोगों का अब ये दावा है कि साहब अब हम कमाल कर देंगे। The Congress manifesto is high on direct cash transfer welfare schemes, but will it be enough to sway voters? Its promise to implement universal basic income during the 2019 elections had no impact on the voters then. With Masumi Singh in New Delhi, Bureau Report. India Today.